are playing Jedi F Fallen Dick, I don't know, Order. But first, I want to tell a story. Last night, <clears throat> me and my family went to a, um, like a fancy restaurant. And when I say fucking fan, I mean like dude playing a piano on like a little pillar as soon as you walk in the door. Fancy. Like, it was fucking fancy. And I went in there with a leather jacket and a Carhartt button up. And some jeans and some like Adidas boots. So I felt very out of place. We walk in, it's just, just this big row of like arches and shit, flowers all over, walk in, it's this nice ass fucking door, and we walk in, there's loud ass piano music, I'm like, oh cool, they got like speakers around, no, there is a dude up like on a little pillar that was just playing piano, I was like, alright, cool, I'm, you know, that's interesting, so, lady's like, all right, um, we'll take you to your table. Uh, but I have to ask you to take off your hats. I wear hats a lot, in case you don't know. And that was the first time I've ever been asked in a restaurant to take off my hat. This was n new to me because I don't go to fancy restaurants. I'm not a fancy dude. Believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not fancy. And so they had, they were mirrors all over the fucking place, like stained glass, fucking biblical stained glass shit, some biblical like naked child chandelier things. I don't know what it is up with fucking biblical places and having naked children with wings. Starting to think that religious people are pedophiles. We, we were sitting there, it's a round table with like white as can be tablecloth. There was like wine glasses and shit that were already out. The fucking napkins were folded and like looked like a flower. I was like, alright, that's fucking cool. This is fancy as shit. The lady comes out and she brings down bread and little stick of butter and it's like in a perfect square like i kid you not perfect and we all had our own butter knife we had like four different forks they all looked the fucking same all right you cannot tell me that <laughs> fucking forks are <laughs> any of those forks were different <laughs> we had like three different spoons two different butter knives i was like all right i'm pretty sure these are both the same thing but i'm maybe wrong yeah i felt very out of place so to say i felt like an atheist in a church so like me in a church it was very strange there were like stained glass that had all kinds of biblical shit on it like even the water cups that she brought out were little wine glasses i was like all right this is just water but it's in a fucking wine glass, alright? <laughs> Just give me a normal cup, please. <laughs> and everybody around us was some, like, rich snob. Like, you could just tell. They were, like, old-ass people that had the typical checkered... Checkered, uh... Like, soft, uh, coat. And like a button up underneath and a tie. And the wives had the obnoxious like diamond stud earrings and fucking short curly hair, like basic Oklahoma hairdo. And a leopard print, basically, or cheetah print. Basically what you'd expect walking into a fancy ass place. Yeah. Felt very out of place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never been so self-conscious about what I was doing <laughs> in my life. It was so awkward. We opened up the the menu, and uh, I was expecting, I was like, you know what, this is a fucking nice-ass restaurant. There's going to be, like, all kinds of good shit. 
there was like seven different items in the menu. <laughs> it's this nice ass menu. I open it, there's like seven different items that you could get. It was like steak, sirloin, salmon, sauteed chicken, and some other shit. I don't know. And I was, I was like, dude, you got this nice ass fucking like, like actual leather fucking booklet for your menu. Just to have it have like seven things. Like, just give me a sheet of paper <laughs> and like a laminated sheet of paper would have been just it would have worked just as good. <laughs> now, obviously, since I'm 16, I cannot drink, unfortunate. But the fucking book that she brought out that was the menu for the drinks was like eight different fucking pages. It was like the amount of drinks that they had was like sevenfold what they had on the actual menu for you to eat. I was like sitting there just looking at it like I was watching my fucking mom go through it and I was like what the fuck what <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> there were more drinks that you could get. There was like seven times the amount of drinks that you could get than there were food that you could get. And then we got dessert too. There was like... There were more desserts than there were actual food. There was like chocolate cake, creme brulee, brulee sh cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, uh, vanilla cake or some shit. Some like Italian shit was like Tristla Kalabalaba. Sounded like gibberish. Sounded like you fucking like eat a lemon and the noise you'd make after eating the lemon. That's about that's about how it sounded. It was some Italian shit. It was an interesting experience.